welcome to Best of the Worst, a celebration of the very best of the very bad. We'll be looking at everything from the worst name to give a baby to the worst thing to do with a motorbike, not to mention this. The worst attempt to impress a girl while on an adventure holiday. So let's welcome our guest this week on David Mitchell's team, actor and comic, Paddy McGuinness. <laughs> and with Johnny Vaughan tonight, comedy actress and presenter, Lisa Tarbuck. <laughs> Round one is Pick the Worst, in which both teams try to pick the worst from a number of options. Once they've made their choices, the audience votes, and the team that the audience agrees with gets the points. Tonight we're picking the worst plastic surgery, and our teams get to choose from... Pete Burns, <laughs> Lizard Man, Lolo Ferrari, and this dog. You see, Pete Burns, he owns property in California from Spin Me Right Round, Right Round, Right Round. And uh, unfortunately, he hasn't been wise with his money. No. <laughs> Never. I know, because he that looks is, sensible. That's the face of, a, of an astute <laughs> businessman. <Yeah. laughs> Surely not. <laughs> There's a couple of times when he was on that Celebrity Big Brother, and I caught myself thinking, he is fit. Fellas, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of times he's side on, he's washing up, you're thinking, who's that? I haven't seen that. Oh, mate. <laughs> On Celebrity Big Brother, Pete Burns was surprised at all the fuss caused by his monkey coat, as no one had complained about his baboon ass face. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got him. We've got Lizard Man. What's your take on Lizard Man? Why has he done that, the idiot? Because he likes lizards and he's shown them the respect they bloody well deserve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where does he work? I don't know. Well, let's hope it's someone like do Bart, please. Do you know what he does for a job? No. He's a, he's a performance artist. Oh. <laughs> Sword swallowing, pierced weightlifting. What? Pierced, pierced weightlifting. weightlifting. Oh, what's pierced weightlifting? Like you don't know and you're not really into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's attaching heavy things to uh, pierced tongues. Nipples. Uh, nipples. I I'm actually doing it now, as we speak. <laughs> you're holding up the fantastic. <laughs> Lolo Ferrari, what problems did the size of her breasts cause? Uh, made people think that she was silly. <laughs> <laughs> Undermined her career as an intellectual property lawyer. <laughs> uh, they prevented her from sleeping on her stomach or on her back. Oh, that's a bit like the elephant man. Mm. He had to sleep in a particular way or he'd die. Yeah, well, there we I'd are. It's a shame he died before she was around. There'd have been a smashing cup. <laughs> <laughs> Lolo Ferrari married a man 22 years her senior. We don't know much about him, but I'm guessing he was a breast man. <laughs> this dog. Yes. Has he had plastic surgery? He's having, I know it's illegal in this country. There was one that won Crofts about three years ago that, that actually got... They found out the little chihuahua that won it, that Peter Purvis really, really loved. And they found out it had a bit of plastic surgery. It used to be an Alsatian. Yeah. <laughs> it would be quite funny to have, like, a, a dog with really big tits. <laughs> no, yeah. Not underneath, not underneath, but on the back. On the back. Hello! Hello! Yeah. He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> just go, he loves it. Go on, he loves it. He loves it. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a little thing. He doesn't mind. Ooh, he, he doesn't mind. <laughs> Do you know what a nuticle is? It's a fake dog testicle. <laughs> uh, what's special about one of those nuticles that are about to be put in him? Belong to his owner. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mention that to guests? Yeah. Saying, do you like the dog? <laughs> uh, those are mine. He's <laughs> got an ID chip in. Yeah. Um, any other plastic surgery examples we might have included? Michael Jackson, I think, has made a real cock up of his whole <laughs> yes, appearance. Wait, has he had work done? <laughs> We didn't include Michael Jackson because we simply didn't want to look at him. Oh, my God. You see, that's Ooh. too far for me. What's he got over his nose, just above his nostril on the no, left? No, that's his nose. No, that's a piece of tape keeping yes. his nose on. Oh, that's yeah. a pretty basic plastic surgeon he's gone to. <laughs> <laughs> the, the better ones, the private ones, they don't use tape anymore. <laughs> uh, so, teams, which one gets your vote? I think we're going for Lizard Man. It's, it's got to be Lizard Man. Example. Johnny Team Lizard Man. That guy's going to regret it at some stage in his life. He's going to think, what did I do? Mm. I became Lizard Man. It was a prank that got out of hand. <laughs> what do I look like? <laughs> what do my parents think? They raised me. <laughs> but also, do you know what? He, the fact is, he's a shit lizard. Because lizards don't have 
green flat tops, and they tend to have longer bodies and tails, and he hasn't got that. Do you think he's, he's not that? bitterly aware of that? Is every week he knows <laughs> that, 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 that there is a limit to how lizard-like he can become? So lizard eyes <laughs> are plumping. <laughs> Four lizard square man. behind Lizard Man as being the worst example of hitting. And I know the audience here will back me up because they're a good bunch. David and Paddy. <laughs> well, you say all that, but at the end of the day, the man can lift weights with his bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> that might play He's well to a northern it. crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But down south, we pride ourselves on down. something a little bit more sympathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I think the dog one. That's totally fine. Dogs have been bred to become weird in all shapes and sizes for, since the Ooh. dawn of time. If you want a pet that's, you know, just right for your living room, that's fit in a handbag and it's got yeah, nine wonderful. heads, you know, tits, we have the... Tits on the back. Tits on the back. Yeah. We have the technology, they're only there for fun. Let's enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you know, the dog's ass tits aren't just for Christmas, you know. <laughs> You must continue to fondle them um, <laughs> even when they start to Sweet. sag. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing sadder than the droopy tits on either side oh. of a on either side of a poor yeah. corgi's bum. <laughs> Get a corgi, but put on it a donkey's penis. Yeah. Oh. Just act like you hadn't really noticed. Don't even mention people. He's sort of rolling on his back in front of the front. He goes, "Yes, he is quite well hung, isn't he?" Yeah. <laughs> Roll over, roll over. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that is a good laugh. Fuck it up. It's like it's wrestling a great bolster. Yeah. Uh, Corgi comes into the room, the first thing you see is the front of the cock. Yes. <laughs> Twelve seconds later, it's saying. snout. <laughs> what do we think about Ferrari woman? I've not got a problem again. Right. <laughs> Society sends out the message that big tits are attractive, and she's just gone for that. In she's, a... she's a victim. Yeah. <laughs> she's a victim of society. <laughs> oh, I never expected that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Yorkshire one's really deep. <laughs> <laughs> and, yet, and yet he'd like a dog with a massive cock. <laughs> yeah. And yet, and yet, so I'm actually from Lancashire. <laughs> So, by progress so, of elimination... So, are we thinking...? Yeah, it's got yeah. to be Peter. I mean, you know, what does he do? What does he Burns contribute to society? <laughs> so, I think it's... Yeah, should we go for that? Yeah, definitely. Think, OK. Yeah. And I think the audience, cos I'm just... This is the first time I'm going to do this bit One of shameless more. pleading. I think the audience will see it our way. Yes. And allow me to win at least <laughs> one episode in this series. <laughs> Hasn't gone well. Hasn't gone well. That's the noise of pity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. For God's sake, yeah. man. I am dying. He's Do the right dying. thing. <laughs> to score your points, the audience needs to agree with you, so let's see what they say. Vote now. So, I can tell you, the worst plastic surgery is Pete Burns! Ah! Hey! <laughs> Time now for our best of the worst bottom five. This week, a rundown of the very worst baby names. To get their points, all our teams have to do is guess the curious names that the following parents have inflicted on their poor children. At number five, this is heavyweight boxing champion George Foreman. But what name did George come up with for his youngest child? Last. <laughs> Mistake. <laughs> All his children are called George. Oh. In oh. your face. LT. So, yes, youngest, oh, not, no, not all, not all of his children, George. Yeah, not all of his good children. Enough. Immediately, but, uh, half of the advantage of having pretended to be dying yeah. has been wiped out. <laughs> um, yeah, no, five of his other children are called George, 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 and anyone? Mildred! <laughs> <laughs> Georgetta. <laughs> At number four on our list of worst baby names, what did Bob Geldof call his three children? Peaches. Yep. Fifi Trixabel. Fifi Trixabel. Oh, oh, peaches. Peaches. Not just peaches. Yeah, oh, I know that. Oh, which I think is a lovely peaches, name, actually. Name. Um, well, it's a lovely name for some fruit. <laughs> <laughs> peaches, oh. honey blossom. Nice. And I'll give you a clue. The youngest is named after a cartoon character. Dog Tanyan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the same name as Celeb's daughter in Private Eye. Pixie Fru Fru was the third one. Oh, of course. <laughs> Geldof's daughter, Pixie Fru Fru, is actually named after a cartoon character, as, of course, is her father. Never seen a SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> and at number three, what outrageous name did Mr and Mrs Sengib of Cologne decide to give their baby? Yeah. Adolf. <laughs> 
course you'd think that instantly with your flicky hair like the Fuhrer. <laughs> Straight away, he sits slightly proud and went, is it Adolf? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not Adolf. But um, I like yeah. your evil icon way of thinking. Uh, they call it Saddam Hussein. Oh, Osama bin Laden. Yes. Oh, oh hey, come on! <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they weren't actually allowed to call the boy Osama bin Laden, as under German law it's illegal to call children names that could be offensive or bring ridicule. Though quite how this chap got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> At number two on the worst baby name list, here's Frank Zappa. Um, but what did he call his children? Moon. Walker, something like that. No, Moonbeam. Moonshine. Moonshine, Moonbase. Moonbase, is that one of them? It's not. Moon's good. No. Alfie Moon. <laughs> Moonbox. Moonbox. Moon. 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 Isn't it? Salo is for units. It's like in a kitchen. Yeah, you should have given me a few units. You confused us more than help. Yeah. I, I felt. That was helpful. A little bit of you, a moon. Moon said moonshine. I was thinking a bit of moonshine would be a, a unit. Yeah. <laughs> um, another name. Pop goes the weasel. weasel. Does that help you at all? Another we, if it, if it's weasel, 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 yes, it does. Weasel. <laughs> Dweezel. You didn't know that one. Do we, do we, Evidently not. If you didn't know that, you're not going to know Ahmet Amuka Rodin. <laughs> this is a great round. <laughs> <laughs> and nor are you going to know Diva Muffin. <laughs> and at number one, this is Mr and Mrs Douglas from Norwich. Uh, what name did they give their child? Berberina. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a it's commercial name. The name of a, a company, of a firm. Is it uh, is even a shop? Procter and Gamble. <laughs> Durex. <laughs> Londis. Superdrug. Millet. Pound Shop. Primark. Primark. It's, it's a, what a pretty Pound name for a girl. Spencers. Pretty name for a girl if Boots. it weren't the name of a big shop. Uh, in summer. <laughs> Um, um, Norwegian is furniture. It, is it for IKEA? Yeah. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah. yes. There you go. Oh. Mrs. Douglas. Oh. Mrs. Douglas oh. said, I saw the name IKEA and I thought that'd be a nice name for my baby. She was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at the scores, and the worst team at the moment are Johnny and Lisa, but still plenty to play for on part two. See you in a minute. Welcome back to Best of the Worst, and it's time to ask which ends the worst. Two video clips, just one question, which is going to end in the worst way? OK, here's the first clip, and it's from Russia. It's the Russian army, and it's the Russian army trying to do tricks with vehicles driving over people and some people waving... Are they waving bottles at bricks? in the hope that the bricks will flee. <laughs> it's interesting that that's a clip with a soundtrack. What would be nice in that clip is them little things you're on cartoons, you know, whoop, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> there should be more footage of the Russian army with that kind of yeah. sound effect on it. <laughs> I'd like to see footage of the Eastern Front in both wars with that kind of thing put on it. <laughs> doing good, doing going. <laughs> <laughs> that would lighten it, cos, you know, so heavy, Stalin. <laughs> 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 Every death was accompanied with a beep. <laughs> 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 you know, it would be fine. I mean, there'd be a hell of a lot of beep. So we'd be deafened by the millions of beep. <laughs> so we'd come to associate beep with a terrible tragedy and it would make us cry. <laughs> Back to plan A. <laughs> Show a bit of respect for these people. They died. <laughs> um... <laughs> Here's the second clip from the USA. Well, there's way too many bikes. Normally you have four for Speedway. How many is there? Speedway, you want four lads all lined up equally on the start line. You've got eight of them lined behind each other. What yeah. kind of twats are these? <laughs> <laughs> they just, just play the beginning of this clip. No, we'll see wait, 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 wait. wait. Pause! The ends the word. <laughs> right. Now, if you look at the back right-hand corner, there's a picture of Albert Einstein. There. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well Next to Old Town Pizza. <laughs> Now, that's, I don't know what's going to happen, but that has just played games with my mind. <laughs> the disaster might be the collapse of <laughs> Old Town Pizza as a business. <laughs> because of their ridiculous marketing. You know, what, what next after Albert Einstein? We'll try 
Beethoven and <laughs> Soufflés. <laughs> Harold Shipman's Carpet Warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's which ends the worst, so which of these two clips is going to end the worst? I'm going to go for the Russian one, just cos it's Russia. Well, it looks bloody stupid it already, does. What they're doing it? has the potential, doesn't it? I mean, already getting, getting a big gang of lads to roll around on tarmac, out of the way of a lorry... It's in, if I was doing the risk assessment on that <laughs> thing, you know, I was trying to, if, I, if I had to Hello. insure the Russian army, yeah. uh, and I, I would be more worried stuff. about the, the driving and the rolling around stage, mm. which appears to have passed. No, 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 no. Take it from me, Dave. This will go tits up. <laughs> you are quoting from the risk assessment, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from Speedway. me. Speedway! This will go tits up. <laughs> <laughs> Speedway! Ah, you always it's get metal, people what they're going to do, slide over the side. Metal, mud, of... petrol, limbs. What's yeah. the worst that can happen? <laughs> Well, I think I think we're going to go with the with the the speedway. Yeah, yeah. you're going to go with the speedway. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Starting with this one. <laughs> oh, genius of the Ruskies! It's war, lads. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Come on. Oh God. <laughs> Why? Oh God. What? War is that training form? The war ah, where... It's pouring out of him. My eyes have been opened. Um, <laughs> unlike that man's, which yeah. may never open again. <laughs> because I was sure when I saw bottles and bricks, I I thought they're gonna hit the bricks yeah. with the bottle. <laughs> but I'd forgotten these are We've Russian forgotten. soldiers. <laughs> of course, the bricks are incidental. <laughs> <laughs> the bricks were padding. Yeah. <laughs> In case they fell over, they needed something soft also, to land on. Bricks! <laughs> bricks will provide the soft sponginess for the head. <laughs> the thing is, though, that guy, the guy that got really hurt, I mean, if I, if I was at the point in my life where there I am, in the middle of a sort of car park, dressed as a soldier, and, I, and I'm, for whatever reason, hitting my head <laughs> with a glass bottle. Yeah. And if, in the initial hit, the bottle doesn't break and cut up my what are you head, think? I think, good. <laughs> and I would not that have a second go. Jay, that is why you're English. He felt he's failure. Yes, he saw it there, and the bottle summed up everything that was wrong in his life. The <laughs> I can't even break a bottle with my face. Uh, so, did something worse happen with the motorbike race? Let's have a look. Maybe it's a dog that's undergone a lot of plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran a little wide on the corner, felt the rear wheel slide a bit, and then I was off, said the bike. <laughs> the Russian soldier clip ended the worst on the grisly grounds that it ended in the most bloodshed. <laughs> so at the end of that round, the points go to Johnny and Lisa. Uh... All to play for now as we turn to the wall of worst, our final quick-fire round, one point per question. So, fingers on buzzers, and we start with worst celebration. How did Les Laley celebrate his 50th wedding anniversary? Ah. There is, with wife Beryl. Yes. He bought his wife a new eye. <laughs> he ate something. He ate... Ah. His wife's eye! <laughs> <laughs> It's like they'd say for 50 years. That's exactly wedding right. Cake. No wedding cake. Oh, That's exactly right. Wedding cake. Oh, oh, wedding cake. Oh, no, it's not wedding cake. It's not wedding cake. I will give you that. I will give you that. They What's ate that? a 50-year-old tin of chicken. Thank you very much. Why give did you give him them that? Because he That's said so something. I said they ate something that was 50, 50 years, years old. old. Yeah. And he said wedding cake. And, and he said, That's quite what like chicken. <laughs> I was, I was in there saying, yes, you're right, before he then came out with wedding cake. The fact is, I said, foodstuffs, 50 years old, and that is why they've rewarded me with the point. <laughs> if he wins again, it's bad for the programme. That's all. <laughs> Worst <laughs> joke. What, according to American scientists, is the oldest joke in the world? Uh, uh, David's team. Jimmy Savile. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny's team. Is it just basic slapstick, someone just falling over? It is exactly... I'm afraid it is. I'm, I'm oh. sorry. Sorry? Oh. Bad for the programme. <laughs> Worst sport in Thailand. What was controversial about this kickboxing match? Jack Russell with a glove on its head. <laughs> Here's a clue. Ew. 
Oh, oh, it was an orangutan. Yes, it was. Oh, 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 well man. done. <laughs> That's right. One orangutan had just knocked out another. You want a war? You got a war, son. <laughs> <laughs> Just win every week. It's Dave that's bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Worst hobby. What's Tony Evans showing off? Uh, no, David's the biggest elastic band ball in the exactly world. Exactly right. Yes. yes. It's his. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at oh, Dave, son. <laughs> you can't compete with concrete. Uh, Get over that. <laughs> what happened when a US TV company dropped it out of a plane to see how far it would bounce? It didn't. It absolutely didn't. No, it merely created a crater. <laughs> <laughs> the TV audience was disappointed the ball didn't bounce and even more disappointed that David Blaine hadn't tried to catch it. <laughs> Worst waxwork. Who is this Madame Tussauds waxwork meant to be? Johnny's oh. team. Ringo Starr. Is exactly oh. right. Yay! <laughs> exactly right, yeah. Um... Concrete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mortar and bricks and stuff that's northern and hard. Big, brilliant, northernness. <laughs> they were bought for the Beatles Museum in Liverpool, though the real Ringo would have been cheaper. <laughs> Worst idea, what's this? Uh, yeah, David's team. It's a mobile form. It is, exactly right, yes. It's, Get uh... in! <laughs> Get in! <laughs> <laughs> Northern <laughs> East. <laughs> Wait, a mobile phone targeted at four to six-year-olds. A teddy phone. Why do you wink at me when he says four to six-year-olds? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like. He went four to six-year-olds. Look at me like that. Come up north. <laughs> at the end of that round, let's take a look at the final scores. <laughs> this week's winners are David and Paddy, but this week's worst team is Johnny and Lisa. <laughs> From Bolton with love. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've been in some way compromised. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, I don't know. I feel I'm less of a man now. <laughs> but, but more alive for it. <laughs> Our thanks then to Johnny and Lisa, David and Paddy, and there's just time for a final look at this the world's worst map reader. <laughs> You've been watching Best of the Worst. Good night. <laughs>